Hey guys, Steve Welcher, BM and Toyota in Nashville. Had a question, I'm gonna show you guys how to fix this. So um, I've had people ask to turn it on and people ask to turn it off. And what the question is about is the parking sensor. So um, you have on a lot of your Toyotas, um, Priuses, I'm in a Venza right now, the uh, um, Highlander, you, you have, I mean, even your Tacoma trucks, you've got, um, and, and your Tundra, I mean, there's pretty much every Toyota has an option at least to have this and it's your parking sensors usually on the upper trim levels um, sometimes on some of the lower ones just depending on what you're looking at but what it will do is you use those sonar buds which I did a video on exactly what those are um, and how those work in general but you use the sonar buds and what it does is it sends a little signal out and it watches for when you're about to bump into something. So um, if you're about to run into something, you'll get a beep noise. So what I'll do is I'm just gonna kinda turn this around here, right? And I'm gonna kinda move this forward here. And you'll see if I kinda get to where I'm gonna get close to something, you'll get a little beep. All right, now you can see it's gonna show me exactly where it's at. If I start to get a little closer, it'll get a little closer and it'll make that noise brighter, right? And then as I back back up, you'd have the exact same thing. So it would, you know, show you in the, in reverse, oops, bumped the camera there, but it would show you in reverse, it would show you in uh, forward. Um, but as you get close to something backing up, and I'm not sure if I can back up before I hit the rocks, there you go. So you'll also notice you can hear it behind you or you can hear it in front of you, but you'll see all this is there. You can uh, mute it by hitting your OK button and then it'll mute temporarily. So if you're in like a car wash or something like that, you can mute it. All right. That being said, that's what it is. Question is, is how do you shut it off? OK, well, I'm going to show you. All right. And this, like I said, I'm going to show you in a couple different vehicles because they're different on this Venza here. You come down right and i'm hitting the down button into the settings all right you're going to look for that icon all right that is your parking sensor if you shut that off now depending on the car it'll either show you an icon up here which just says that it's off or it might not show you anything all right but you can turn it on turn it off obviously they put the uh, icon up there because they want you to leave that on all right, so you can leave that on and you know, obviously there's a few other things that you can do in here. Um, part of those parking sensors also use this system, which is your intelligent clearance sonar um, with your reverse braking. So um, they're and, and forward braking. So basically if you're at a slow speed roll, your foot falls off the brake at a stoplight, something like that, you'll get the car will actually hit the brakes for you um, and stop you from rolling into a pole or rolling back into a, you know, or a concrete barrier, whatever that, that you're dealing with. So that's what that system does, all right? That's how you reset it in one of the newer cars um, with like the Venza and that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna kind of pop out here and we'll take a quick walk. And uh, this is the Venza, by the way. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you guys over. And first off, I'll show you while we're here, just to kind of reiterate what I was talking about. Here's one of those sensors. There's another sensor here. You'll also have some of those on the uh, back of the vehicle. Um, but like I said, so if you're looking at a new Highlander, if you're looking at a new, uh, uh, I mean, pretty much any of the new vehicles with the new setup, um, they're going to be very, very similar on how they work, all right? So it's, it's not gonna be a whole lot, um, a whole lot different, all right? But if we get into some of the older ones and I'm going to kind of pop over here and see, um, I haven't picked one out for this yet, but, uh, I'm going to pop over here and we'll see if, uh, you know, let's look at this forerunner. All right. So this is an older model model forerunner. I think this is a 16 actually. Um, so you'll notice, if you look at some of the newer ones, you're going to have the bigger radio, things along those lines. That's not really important on this one because what I wanted to show you is exactly this. So the Forerunner, and let me, like I said, I'm just kind of, uh, let me 
turn this down here. So, and, and I'm just kind of popping in here. And it's just because I know that this one has right here. All right, so that's the same symbol. Turn that off, your parking sensors are off. Turn that on, your parking sensors are on. And it's going to give you that beat. So you see, and if you watch your center screen, turn it off, turn it on. It's letting you know. So that's the screen that you'll see as you're backing into. It's a little different. Like I said, it's not as uh, fancy, right? But um, but that one, it, it's gonna look something like that. Your Highlander will look something similar. So if you have an older Highlander, you could have this button. So you'd be on like a limited or a platinum or something like that. So it's just a matter of which one you're doing. Um, if there are some people that get very annoyed with it, they don't want it to always beep. You're pulling into your garage. It's always beeping and annoys you. Shut it off. It, it's very simple to shut it off. Hit that button or go into your settings mode. You can shut those off. It's very easy to do. Um, you don't have to fight it. All right. So just, um, and, and now I will mention that on this one, you don't have, you know, this is a 16 forerunner. Like I said, you don't have the rear braking or the forward braking or that. So you can have that symbol and you can have the, um, the features of it without the braking. So don't assume that you have the braking. Um, it is a feature that is on there, but it's, it uses the same system, but it is separate of that system. So, um, and I guess I probably didn't say that right, but it's, it uses the same sensors, but it's a separate system. So the braking system, it's not necessarily on all of the cars that have that, but I will tell you, I don't think there's any cars that have the braking that don't have, there, there's not a way to have that without having the, uh, the parking sensors. So, um, and I could stand corrected on that, but I, I don't think I'm wrong. I think I'm, I'm think I'm accurate on that. So, um, but yeah, your parking sensors, if you get to where, and I'm right next to a wall, as you can see from the backup camera here. So you can see this is giving me the, the tone and all that. If I want to shut it off, watch, it's off. That whole system's off, right? So if I go into the drive, it, it's not going to beep on me right but it looks at the way that you're going right hit reverse boom it's telling me if i hit forward it knows i'm not heading that way it's not going to alert me for that so just like i said had a question was trying to answer you guys' question hopefully that worked for us um so uh let me know if you guys have any other questions i'm always uh, happy to answer them but this is your parking sensor and realistically it's a little bit of your braking system but um it's mainly to shut off your parking sensors on your toyota so really and and this should work on lexus as well it's going to be very similar um it's uh and, and actually that symbol um, if you go to other vehicles, it, it's not just Toyota. A lot of companies use the exact same symbols um, for good reason. Is you know they want somebody to be able to jump in their car as a rental car or something like that and know what those systems do. So um, things like your dynamic cruise control or you know some people call it range finding cruise control. Or, or, I mean people call it different things, but regardless of what it is. Um, People can call it whatever they want to. It does the same thing. Um, lane departure or, you know, lane diversion or what, I mean, people call different things. So whatever it is, um, you know, you'll know what it is. But Steve Watch with Beam and Toyota in downtown Nashville. Um, I sure do appreciate you guys. Definitely help me get up to that 5,000 on the uh, subscribers. Appreciate everyone of you guys. Hopefully this video helps. Hopefully this answers your question. Um, I got a, uh, like I said, I got a question from somebody that was looking at one of my other videos and just wanted that particular thing. So there you go. That particular thing. Hopefully it answers your question. Let me know if it didn't, but uh, I don't see how it couldn't. So Steve Walsh, BM and Toyota in Nashville. You want to come down buy a car? Let's do it. We'll have some fun. Um, you'll know everything about a car before you leave, uh, or at least as much as you want to know, or as much as you could retain. Um, there are some people that uh, their mind kind of goes um, when uh, we're going over these things because they are amazing. They're, they're, I mean, a computer on wheels now. They are amazing cars. So um, Toyota does it better than anybody else. In my opinion, I'm right. Um, and uh, it's just, it, it's awesome to be uh, to be a part of Toyota. So um, definitely, you guys let me know if I can help you out with anything. Steve Watch, Beeman Toyota in Nashville. You guys have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.